Hey y'all, today I wanted to share a little bit about my uh, skincare, my current products, what I've been using um, both morning and night, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and jump in. Uh, as you can see, I am not wearing a stitch of makeup except a little bit of lip balm, but other than that, um, I've completed my skincare routine, and so all, all I guess maybe you'll see is like... I don't know, this is my skin. I have my sunscreen on. Um, I have like all like all these products that I've used in my morning routine on. So let's just go ahead. I'll, I'll start with like order of application and I guess I'll start with my morning routine and those kinds of products. So usually in the mornings, um, I just use like a really uh, gentle basic cleanser. Um, and I do like to cleanse um, my skin in the morning because my skin type tends to be like oily or sometimes a little bit combo. Like some, some places I get dry every once in a while depending on the weather you know time of year um, depending on how much like if I've been using retinol lately all those kinds of things kind of play into what I use but in the morning I have been really enjoying and liking the purity made simple uh, one-step cleanser yeah one-step facial cleanser I've gone through several of these already I as you can see I'm almost out of this one so I already have a backup um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan. I think the ingredients are pretty decent. It's mostly made up of like uh, different oils, so it's very nourishing. Um, it says it you know, deep cleans pores and eliminates makeup buildup, which I do agree. I have used this at night before as well, and uh, I think this is a good like both day and night cleanser, and depending on how much makeup you wear. Like if you don't wear a lot of makeup, you could probably just get away with using this alone and not like a makeup remover or an oil cleanser or a balm or whatever. Um, you know, it just kind of depends. But yeah, based on the ingredients, I feel like, you know, it's mostly made up of like glycerin and um, different seed oils. Um, yeah, and it's very like low lather, so it doesn't like foam up a lot, but I like that because I don't want, at the same time, I know my skin is oily, but I don't want it to feel like super stripped or like, you know, like that squeaky clean, like dry feeling. I don't want that either. Um, so anyway, this has been really good for in the morning. So that's my morning cleanse. And usually the next step I'll go into is like, um, either a, like a toner or, um, some kind of treatment. So, um, I, I tend to work with like products like from thickest, thinnest to thickest, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm, I'm really passionate about skincare and I've try to do my research and I feel like I found what's worked for me um, and, and like I know my skin isn't like perfect but for me this is like this version of the skin that I have today is like probably the best it's ever been um, and I guess just for for more reference I'm 25 and I've never gotten any like I don't know fillers or Botox like none of that like um, I've just you know stick to like products like this and I think I found what works especially lately so moving into like my next step and I kind of go back and forth between these um, but I guess to be like a more gentle toner I really like the L'Oreal Paris um, Hydra Fresh toner um, this is like my second bottle of this as well um, so I've tried it and I feel like it's it's just nice you know gentle um, it says alcohol free but um, there's denatured alcohol in here too, so I'm not really sure what kind of contradiction that is, but I do think it's kind of nice, um, just to like put on a little bit of like a cotton pad, just like a little bit and just kind of like, you know, get the final traces of whatever cleanser I didn't necessarily remove. Um, I don't know. It's just kind of nice to do before my, my, you know, serums, moisturizer, sunscreen, and then my makeup. So, um, let's see if there's anything notable about this. Yeah, so it's got pro vitamin B5, which is panthenol in here. Um, it says it helps protect against moisture loss, which even though I have oily skin, I do make it a point to, you know, moisturize my skin really well. And I find that that's kind of balanced my skin out over time as well. So, um, I feel like I found some really great, like, moisturizing products that aren't too heavy. And I, I try to avoid, like, clogging, clogging my pores because that's another aspect of my skin that tends to happen quite frequently. I get clogged pores, so that's like my biggest challenge now, I think. Um, but let's see, anything else notable about here? Okay, it says 99% alcohol free, so I guess that's where the denatured alcohol comes in. Um, but yeah, I'll, that's all I really have to say about this. It's just good, it's affordable, you know, it's from the drugstore, it's basic. I don't think it's too, like it's too much. It's not too stripping, like it doesn't, it doesn't feel like an astringent toner. Um, I don't know, it's just nice and I enjoy it. 
And then the other option that I have, like if my skin needs a little bit more like of a declogging or like more of a treatment kind of thing, I really love the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. Again, this is the second bottle that I'm on. I love how it's affordable, but man, this stuff packs a punch. Like if you have sensitive skin, you know, go easy with this. Um, I don't have sensitive skin particularly. Like I honestly feel like my skin's actually pretty resilient. So a lot of like the acids and like maybe more intense treatments here, they work for me, but they may not work for you if you have a different skin type um, than mine. But yeah, I love the price, but I love how this is glycolic acid because it gets a little bit deeper into the skin. And this has honestly been one of my more life-changing products. Like this kind of keeps my acne, you know, a lot more toned down. Um, it's also a really great anti-aging toner. Um, you know, having, you know, a, a AHA and a BHA, um, acid are really good, you know, minimizing the, you know, the aging process, you know, slowing down those, um, you know, those wrinkles forming and hopefully, you know, increasing your cell turn turnover and, you know, uh, helping with your skin, like stay resilient and healthy and firm and, and plump and whatever. So yeah, I usually use this, um, just at night, um, but I have used this in the daytime before. Um, you do have to be careful though. Make sure you wear sunscreen and that should be like for everybody every single day no matter what. So, um, but I don't use this twice a day. So like say if I do use this in the morning, I don't use it at night. So don't overdo it on this. A little goes a long way. Um, I'm trying to think what else can I really say about it? Yeah, you know, read the directions on your skincare. Um, be careful when it comes to like acids and toners and heavier treatments, more intense. Um, treatments and things like that. So anyway, huge fan of this. I will continue to buy it. I love it so much. So okay, so we're still we're still on my morning skincare, by the way. But um, I I just wanted to bring that up now, just in case. Um, you know, that's just what I do sometimes. It just kind of depends on the day. Like I really try and listen to my skin every day. But so after like my um, toners and my or essences or refreshing kind of things like that, I always go in in the morning with a vitamin C. And I've tried a couple, you know, over the years. But um, again, this is one of those tried and true that I've gone back to, um, you know, more than once. So this is again, my second, second bottle of this. Um, this is the Derma E vitamin C concentrated serum with hyaluronic acid. And I love this because of course, like I've been trying to be more mindful of is, you know, trying to find more affordable things because I tend to go through skincare pretty quickly. Um, but I love how it's a vitamin C and a hyaluronic acid. And the type of vitamin C that's in this one, I looked it up. I don't think, oh, it's on the box. I don't think it's on here. But I'll, I'll, I'll put it up on the screen. Um, I'll put like the type of um, vitamin C because there's different strains and different concentrations and stability levels of vitamin C. But I was actually just watching Elle Leary's video on vitamin C recently that she just put out. And uh, she said the type of vitamin C that's in this one is, while it's a little bit less effective, it's it's more stable than um, like L ascorbic acid, for example. So L ascorbic acid is not in that particular um, vitamin C serum, but this is kind of like maybe the next step below that. Um, and I do make it a point to also, so speaking of that stability, I do make it a point to store this like in a cabinet, like away from like the light or the sun or like, I really do try and take care of this so it doesn't go bad. Um, so be mindful about that if you do um, get a vitamin C product. Try not to leave it out like where it's exposed to the elements and don't get stuff that's in a jar. The great thing about this is that it's in like a tube and it, you pump it out and it's, you know, airtight. So I think this is just a great all around product. Like it checks all the boxes. So that's why I keep going back to this and I truly love it. Okay, so that's my serum, you know, nothing too intense. And then I just finished with a moisturizer and then a sunscreen. So where's my moisturizer? Here it is. Um, oh, no, I'm sorry. I, I use an eye cream. So I use the same eye cream or, you know, this is in this case, it's a gel. Um, I use the same eye serum both day and night. This is the Pixie Collagen Eye Serum. Um, again, like, I love how it's from Target or, you know, it's a pretty affordable, um, eye serum. So I, I do appreciate that. And I'm not like, I guess the biggest believer in spending a whole bunch of money on a really expensive eye cream or an eye serum. Um, you know, I, I bring most of my skincare around my eyes anyway, and I don't have a problem with that. I know some people may more sensitive eyes, but, um, I tend to have really like dry eyes. So like while most of my face is like oily, like 
why I think I kind of have more combo skin is because like my eyes like on the outer corners get really dry and like sometimes around my nose and like my chin sometimes down here gets dry that's mostly when it's like if it's really cold outside but um anyway I love this eye serum it's like a it's a gel texture so it's it's great how it sinks into the skin really quickly um you know there's no like added fragrance I don't think oh, again there's no the the ingredients aren't on here but it does say it's a collagen eye serum collagen is basically just a really moisturizing ingredient it's not gonna actually like add like it's not gonna increase your collagen production in your skin um, but I do find that this is just really nice and it applies well under makeup so that's why I like using this during the day but I also do use it at night and this tube has lasted me for a really long time um, you know I've only had this one tube but it's lasted me for like months and months, so um, I will probably be repurchasing this when I run out, which I think I might have to do soon. But anyway, I love that Pixie Eye Serum. Okay, and then after that, I move into my moisturizer. And I was using a different moisturizer before this, but it was a sample. It was small, um, and so I got through it pretty quickly. But um, I, I hate how expensive this is, but gosh, it really is good, and I do love it. And I try to get it at the like VIB sale or like I try to get it on sale when I can but because this stuff is really nice and luxurious and it does last a while. It's the Tatcha Water Cream. I mean of course it's beautiful. I love how it comes with a little spoon and so you can just get the right amount and you don't have to dig your fingers in there. It's easy to clean with just a little bit of alcohol so you can keep it as clean as possible. I don't like how it comes in a jar. I wish it came in like a pump or like a squeezy tube. That would be really really nice but this stuff is really nice. It's light. It's refreshing but I do like how it has those you know nourishing ingredients it does have anti-aging ingredients um, and it just really feels luxurious and beautiful on the skin um, but do I think you can find just as comparable moisturizers at the drugstore yeah like don't don't spend your money if you don't have it on this item it's not a necessity necessity um, but it is really nice and I have been using it and I will use it until it's gone and then I'll maybe I'll try something different because I don't want to spend what 68 my light stopped working ah. well my light stopped working but anyway would I spend $68 on this again mm, I don't know maybe one day if I've saved up a lot of money but do I think it's necessary no you can find you can find just as great anti-aging moisturizers at the drugstore which maybe I will look into after I use all of this one up. Okay, so that's my moisturizer. And then to kind of finish um, my morning skincare routine, I have been trying several different sunscreens, but I'll just show you guys like the ones I've been loving lately um, and just kind of go from there. So I was lucky enough to receive the Bear Republic Mineral Sunscreen in an influencer box, which thank goodness because I was running out of, you know, my the other sunscreens I was using before. Um, but what's interesting about these is both of these, so this is the face one, it says face gel lotion, and this is the body one, it just says gel lotion. They both have the same ingredients, so it's just nice that I have, like, the same sunscreen and, like, this is more of a travel size and this is just, like, the full size. But if you're gonna buy this, like, you can use this on your face, and that's what I've been doing lately, too. I'm actually gonna save this for when I have to travel, um, so that way I can, you know, hang on to this and, you know have it for when I can travel so I don't have to like decant this and put this in a different tube I can just use this every day like on my body and face and I'm good to go but I do like how it's a mineral sunscreen it's SPF 30 um, oh, oh another thing I found out that was cool about this is it's made by Kula LLC so I guess Bear Republic is like the sister brand or like the the other brand uh, owned by Kula and I know Kula um, at least I've heard they make really cool uh, sunscreen products as well so I like how this is a little bit more affordable but it's you know made by the same people so um, what else do I need to say that's notable about this uh, you know it's supposedly like I guess considered a clean a clean brand or I don't know I, I don't particularly care about having clean makeup or skincare or anything like that but just it just so happens to be that so you know cool and it does it does feel nice um, I do think this is a great option to find um, that's a little bit more affordable the only problem that I've had with it like I, I would give this like a four out of five on a scale of one to five the only problem that I've had with it is sometimes like if I don't let my skincare sink in enough before I apply it it can pill up just a little bit sometimes but usually like like on my neck especially I've noticed like today even like I, I just kind of find myself like having to like dust it off a little bit I know that may be a little bit weird 
but um, I don't know it doesn't bother me a lot so that's why I keep using it I of course like I'd rather have you know sunscreen than you know not use it and like I don't know I'd rather have the sun protection and have a little bit of pilling than like I don't know yeah just not using a sunscreen or something so I'll use it up um, and I would probably buy it again but um, I don't know I find that 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 the pilling mostly happens like on my face and like my neck and chest so I do think that it has something to do with like I just probably don't let my skincare sink in like I try and do my routine pretty fast in the morning um, but on my body it doesn't pill up from what I've experienced so um, anyway that's those are like the that's like the main sunscreen I've been using because that was sent to me and I want to try it and I've been getting comfortable and familiar with it. But before that, and I'm almost out of this, I've really loved the REN um, Clean Screen Mineral SPF 30. Is it 30? Yeah. Mineral SPF 30. I love how it's a matte finish. That is something that I've really had a hard time with in terms of sunscreens because I don't like that greasy feeling. My skin's already oily enough. It gets oily throughout the day. But I do love this, and again, it is a clean sunscreen, but I don't particularly like, that's not one of the reasons why I wanted to buy it, but since it just so happens to be clean, great, that's cool. Um, gosh, I've really loved this. I don't like how expensive it is. I don't like how small of a tube it is. Um, that's what sucks. It's 1.7 fluid ounces, so at least it's more than like the standard one fluid ounce for your face. Um, but I just saved this for my face, so um, at least I can try and get the most mileage out of it and uh, have it around for a little longer by just using this on my face. But that Bare Republic, like I said, I'll use all over. Um, I also do like the Neutrogena, um, the spray, like the sheer, the sheer spray. Um, I've I'm like out of that so that's why I didn't bring it in here to show you guys but that's another great like body sunscreen too and that's what I had been using when I just had this and didn't have the Bare Republic one so I don't know I hope that gave you guys a little bit more insight into my my morning routine and like no matter what I do I always always use a sunscreen in the morning no matter what that doesn't change my cleansers tend to not really change either um yeah, oh, okay, actually, so I did forget this too. So in my morning routine also, here are some of like the lip products that I like to use because you don't want to forget about SPF on your lips. So staying with the whole SPF trend, I talked about this in another video. You can't see it, but it's the Sugar Fresh um, Petal uh, Limp Balm and it's got 50, SPF 15. Yeah, SPF 15 in it. That's been nice. Um, and sometimes, not every day, but like, most of the time, or sometimes, I use the Sugar um, Lip Wonder Drops by Fresh as well. Um, and this is great, like I, like I said, I talked about this in a recent video, I'll put it in a card if I remember, but um, this is really good at like giving that, like your lips a nice exfoliation. Since like manual scrubs to me on the lips, like they're so messy and they take like, I don't know, like I don't want to have to like just deal with that. Um, this is like the perfect product I've been looking for and I feel like it's so underrated. I don't see any like major beauty people talking about this, but I think this is great in the morning especially. Like this works so well underneath makeup. Like it really smooths out the lips. It really adds that necessary moisture back into them. Um, but this is great and then I apply this on top. So I've talked about these two together in that product video if you want more details on that, but um, I did want to shout these out because I do use these pretty regularly. So I feel like that concludes the morning part of my routine. So I'll just go ahead and jump into my nighttime routine now. So what I do, no matter how much or how little makeup I'm wearing or, you know, if I'm wearing no makeup, I always go in with um, like a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil, you know, something to remove that layer of sunscreen because sunscreen is like really hard, like especially if you reapply it, like that kind of adds layers and layers of sunscreen that's like you want to get off your skin at the end of the day, okay? So I always start with, uh, like I said, an oil or a balm and right now I've been really loving the Sephora oil cleanser. Um, yeah, the Supreme Cleansing Oil and it's mostly made of cottonseed oil. I don't know if that's like a good option, but I saw this um, I was just kind of desperate and looking for something that was like affordable. I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money on it because, um, you know, if, it, if it's something like a cleanser that's going to be on your face for such a short period of time, um, I, I, I'm trying not to spend so much money on that part of my skin skincare and focus maybe more on like the treatments or a moisturizer, especially at night. Um, but this stuff is really nice. I mean, the I guess the one drawback is like up here, it gets kind of messy, it kind of leaks down a little bit. But like, I think this was 15 bucks or something. Um, 
and that's fine with me. You get so much product. You get six, almost six and a half ounces in here. Um, so it's just really nice. I've had this for quite a while, but I've gone through it. As you can see, um, like I said, I do really use this pretty much every night. I mean, maybe on the one day every once in a blue moon if I'm lazy, but I don't have a lot of, like, any makeup on or a lot of makeup on. I can get away with using my next cleanser on its own or even that philosophy cleanser on its own that I mentioned earlier, but I do like to start there. And then what I've also been using lately to just, you know, kind of get familiar with, and again, this was also sent to me in an influencer box. Um, this is the Milk Makeup Vegan Cleanser, vegan milk cleanser. Um, yeah, as you can see, I've gone through quite a bit of it. I've talked about this on my Instagram and I've written reviews of this um, and I still feel, you know, the same way. I think this is a great, nice, very gentle, creamy, doesn't lather at all cleanser. So if you have someone with sensitive skin, dry skin, you'll particularly love this. But I have found that with like my combo oily skin, this has actually been really nice and I do like it. But I do, I do hate how expensive it is. Like, for a cleanser, I just don't think, like, spending so much money on something that's going to be on your skin for, like, 30 seconds and you're just going to rinse it off. It shouldn't cost that much. But it is really nice. If you do want, you know, something that's, like, clean, vegan, um, cruelty-free, like... If that's something that's important to you, I do think this is a great option. So I will say that. Uh, is there anything else I need to say? No, uh, you do get quite a bit in here too, four ounces. Um, I like the packaging, it's a squeezy tube. It's, you know, it's kind of a cute package as well, you know, bright yellow. It's just kind of nice, kind of fun. I will use all of it, um, but would I buy it again? I don't know, just because the price is a little bit, it's a, it's a little bit much for me. Um, with uh, just a cleanser, you know. Oh, and I will say, so if you're going to compare that to like the Philosophy Cleanser, I tend to buy those during like the VIB sale when they're like $15 or something, or like during the holidays. Those, since you get so much product in these Philosophy Cleansers, like this is a lot, this will last you for so long, even though you use it once or twice a day, every day. Like that's another reason why I really like this too. And I can use this at night and I have before. So, and that's what I was doing before I got that um, milk makeup one in the mail. So, and usually, so since I'm a person who showers at nighttime, that's when I do like that, those cleansing steps. Um, like I'll do my oil cleanser outside of the shower real quick and then I'll get in the shower and then like rub it, rinse it off, get it wet and emulsify it and then use those cleansers. But then sometimes I, I like to do a mask in the shower. So one of my favorite things that I found, and I'm so glad that I decided to try this, um, this is the Aveeno Positively Radiant 60 Second In Shower Facial. This is so nice and I'm so glad that I found this at the drugstore. Um, I, ha I don't think I'd seen any reviews or anything about it, but it's just really nice. It says it leaves skin brighter and rejuvenated in just one minute. Yeah, I love how you can use this in the shower because masks to me aren't like my favorite thing to do just because they're messy and you have to like sit and wait for a long time and then you have to wash it off and I don't like like that just seems like a lot of extra water <laughs> that like um, I'm using and I don't know just an extra step that I don't necessarily enjoy but since I can do this in one minute in the shower and it's like a nice steam like spa like experience um, I really love this stuff and so this is I think this has both AHAs and BHAs I just want to double check really quick it does say like again with stuff like this you have to be careful and make sure you're using a sunscreen do not forget about the sunscreen um, if you do use this in the morning especially like please put your sunscreen on the morning because this is like a it's an exfoliator so it's got like little tiny like rice granules like those it's not like a bead it's not a plastic bead it's a you know a natural very gentle like it's not like a paste but it's not like jam-packed with like sugar or like really harsh exfoliants it's very gentle you just kind of gently work it in with your fingers and let it sit for a minute and let the kind of the steam and the you know the ingredients in here do their work so uh, I'm trying to think I can't tell maybe on the box it said it had AHAs or BHAs but either way it is a manual scrub oh yes okay this product contains an alpha hydroxy acid that may increase your skin sensitivity to the sun and particularly the possibility of sunburn yeah so this says you know use a sunscreen no matter what time of day uh if you use this in the morning especially use a sunscreen then but if you just use this at night at least the next day make sure you put your sunscreen on if you're going to be you know out during the day so i don't know i love how this is from the drugstore it works quickly um and it rinses off easily it's not like it's not like a clay mask, so you don't have to worry about like really trying to get it off your face. Um, that's really nice. But another more gentle one that's like a moisturizing mask that I've really loved and I'm almost out of 
this this is the Ren uh, Ultra Comforting Rescue Mask. So like if I have like really red, irritated, or acneic skin, and I don't want to necessarily use a harsh exfoliant, this is really, really nice. And again, it, it happens to be clean, which is fine by me. Um, th that's not like a selling point for me, but um, this is, it's really nice. It's, it's pricey, but it has lasted me a really long time because you don't need a lot of this. Like it spreads so beautifully. It feels like a butter like texture on the skin. It's very creamy. Um, a very like emollient and it's great for sensitive skin. I do vouch for that as well even though I don't have sensitive skin. Uh, let's see. Oh, so this says to use it like obviously outside of the shower but what I found is I can use this in the shower like I use that other one and it works just as well. Like you don't have to sit there with it on for like 30 minutes before you can take it off. Um, since it doesn't dry down anyway, I don't see the point in like you don't have to leave it on that long. I don't know. I like, I in the same way that I use that other one, like after I've rinsed my face, I'll just put like a little bit of this in my hand, just kind of smooth it over, let the steam do its work and kind of like, I don't know, I feel like the steam kind of accelerates the process of having it like penetrate your pores and stuff. And it like, my, your skin feels like so smooth and soft after using it, which I don't know, it's just really, really nice. So will I buy it again? I don't know. It is really nice. But again, I just, I'm trying to like save my money and not spend so, so much on skincare, especially with a mask that I'm, that I don't use every day. This is just like a couple times a week thing, if that, um, and same with the Aveeno one, but at least the Aveeno one will, you know, it's, it's a lot cheaper and I'll get a lot more mileage out of it because there's more product in that tube. So that's my mask. And after I rinse those off, get out of the shower, then this is where like I use like even more of like, I guess an intense ingredient. So I am a retinol user. Um, I love, you know, that's like been like the saving grace for my skin is retinol. Um, in terms of like, I guess anti-aging, sure, I know I'm young, but also especially with my acne, it's really, really helped me a lot. And I don't know if this is like necessarily the best advice to say, but I do have the Retin-A, but um, I did get this from Mexico. So I don't know, I'm from Texas. I'm not that far away from it. So like, um, um, I, I, last time my aunt and my grandma went to Mexico, I think, I just asked them to bring me back a tube of this, and I've done that, you know, uh, once before, and gosh, this stuff lasts you forever, so I've had this for a very, very long time, um, but man, it works, it really does. I have the 0.1%, which I think is the strongest you can get, I don't remember, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm really, I'm really glad I have it, and I don't use this, like, every, every day, but most nights I do use this, but if I don't use this, then I will use the L'Oreal Revitalift Overnight Mask because this has um, a very, like, milder form, a lower dose of retinol in it too. Um, so this is like the prescription strength stuff that you can only get with a prescription in America. But this is like, you know, the over-the-counter, you know, a great alternative. Like if you have, again, sensitive skin, this would be great for you because this is like what I would use as my moisturizer and my treatment in that one step. So... Anyway, if I, so let's say I do use this, um, I obviously still have to use my moisturizer, right? So that moisturizer, again, I would be using the Tatcha, and then I would finish with the last step of using my Ordinary Face Oil. So this has been a really great product um, so far since I've had it. Um, this is my first bottle that I've had, and I'm almost done. I'm at about, like, right there. So almost done with this one. It is kind of thick. I found that it's a little heavy, so I don't use this every single night, but on the nights where like maybe um, if I've used retinol a couple nights in a row, like that Retin-A a couple nights in a row and I'm getting a little bit flaky, I'll definitely make sure to use this just to kind of seal everything in a little bit more, maybe heal that up. Um, but I, so yeah, I don't use this every night, but I do like it. Um, I might try the rosehip oil um, after I run out of this though, just to see like how that goes because I don't know I've heard um, Taylor Wynn talk about that she used to be the Taylor but now she's Taylor Wynn here on YouTube um, so I do want to give that a try because she's used that for years and years and really loves it so anyway that's like my last step of my nighttime skincare routine and the other lip balm options that I have and that I like to use that don't have SPF um, are the Smith's Rosebud Salve so I have both the tin and the tube I don't know if I had to pick like I think I like the tin more I have noticed that the ingredients lists are different on these and I don't really know why but um, the 
and they both work great. This is just great and convenient for travel and on the go. This is good to just kind of keep on your nightstand, use like all as all purpose balm, like all over the body. I've used it all over, um, you know, from head to toe. I've used it for so many different things, but I love the rose scent. I'm a fan of rose. I love how affordable they are. You can get these at Sephora. Um, yeah, I don't know. I love these. They've been around for a long time. They're tried and true. They're great. Um, and I guess just some miscellaneous things here that I want to mention really quick. I guess looking at what I have now, I kind of forgot to mention just a couple things. So um, I do want to remind you guys I use this at night as well, the, the Pixie Eye Cream. Um, and also another kind of exfoliator that I use sometimes. Um, I'm so sad I'm running out of it, but this is the Tatcha the Rice Polish. I love the deep one. The one in deep is like oh my gosh I love that one this one's really great too this is a fabulous exfoliant um but I guess a chemical and physical like you could like it's technically both I guess but gosh it's just such a beautiful texture if you use this the right way you pour a little bit into your hand you get it wet and then you rub it between your hands until it turns into like a foam and like a creamy beautiful texture and you don't feel the grains anymore so at that point it's not really a physical exfoliant, but it's got like, I think papaya extract, and so it's like an AHA and I think BHA as well. Um, but then you rub it onto your skin and it rinses off so beautifully. This stuff is beautiful. I have the travel size, obviously, because it's only like 15 bucks as opposed to like 68 or almost $70. But one day I do want to try out the, the full size, but for now I'm just going to keep buying the little mini ones because they're great. They last a really long time because you don't need much. So I just keep this in my shower now, but they're also great to travel with. That's the beautiful thing with that. Um, and then also speaking of Tatcha and like mini sizes, I do love their deep cleanse. Like their cleanser is so beautiful. It really is nice, but again, it's just so expensive. So I've been, you know, using this uh, mini travel size, you know, for as long as I can, but I use it, you know, sparingly. I don't use it every day, but I do keep this in my shower as well to use at night. Um, it has been great for travel as well. I've, you know, moved it back and forth between my travel bag and my bathroom, but I've gotten so many minis of these, like, over the past couple months and years, like, either in a point perks or, like, I've purchased it. Um, gosh, Tatcha really does have such a beautiful line. It's just so pricey, so, um, I try and, like, save up and be mindful before I purchase those things, but the travel sizes are a great, like, intro way to get um, into the Tatcha scene. And then w one other product for my skin that I use at night that I, looking at it now, I forgot to mention, the Foreo. This is like the really mini one, like the, the tiny, like, I don't know, like the smallest one you can get. Um, I love it how it's great for travel, but I use this like at home too, like pretty much every night. Um, and unless I use an exfoliator, I don't use this. Um, but I love how it's battery powered. So you, all you have to do is just replace the batteries. You don't have to charge it. Um, it lasts for quite a while before you have to change the battery and all you do is just press the little power button on the back and it vibrates and it just does its thing. I don't know. It's just nice, convenient. It works. It helps make your cleansers a little bit more effective um, and penetrate deeper into your skin. I love how you don't have to replace brush heads with this like a Clarisonic, even though I do love the Clarisonic, but again, I'm trying to like be more economical and also silicone actually is better in terms of it doesn't harbor as much bacteria. So as long as you like rinse this off really well after you're done using it with like hot water and um, you know maybe a soap or you can spray it with alcohol, it won't you know negatively affect it. That's why I think the Foreo is pretty great. So I don't know, one day I might even invest in the in a bigger one. Um, but for now, I think this is just great on its own. You know, it's very soft and gentle. No matter what skin type you have, I think you'll you'll really enjoy this as well. So I think that's it, you guys. I'm trying to make sure that I didn't forget. Oh, no. Okay. This is one thing that I feel like skincare videos do not talk about enough. Um, it's cleaning your makeup brushes and your sponges and all of your tools. I have found the biggest dramatic change in my skin has come from keeping my makeup brushes clean. And I owe the um, Beauty Blender Liquid Cleanser a huge thank you for that, I think. Um, and even though this little small bottle is a little bit pricey, a little expensive for what you get, you don't need much of this. Um, to get an effective foam and cleanse and you know deep clean um, for your makeup brushes but it's so worth it's so worth it and it, what's great with this again is it's it's small enough to like where you could travel with it but um, I've used quite a bit but I've had it for quite a while and man this stuff it's just I'm so glad I have it um, and you know clean your makeup brushes with whatever you want I just happen to be using this one and I do find that it's very effective with getting like stains and actual makeup out of my brushes because some soaps I found like just don't do enough like you know even like the 
I don't know, I tried the Zodi soap, like the, the strong, like heavy detergent soap, um, and that just doesn't always work for me. Um, I've tried like just regular bar soap, I've tried hand soap, you know, um, and I've tried like the bar, like the bar version of this. Um, I've tried the Sephora brand, I do think the Sephora brand is just a great option as well if you're trying to save money, but this stuff, man, it actually is really, really nice and really good. It smells a little bit citrusy and light, which I guess is kind of another fun little pleasurable experience using, using this, but I don't know, the stuff is great, and I do think the more uh, clean you keep your makeup brushes, the better that is for your skin, of course. So I wish more skincare videos talked about that, but that's something that I've really tried to be very diligent and on top of. So I don't know, I actually like cleaning makeup brushes. It's a very like cleansing and like therapeutic experience for me. So I don't know, I feel like no one else likes cleaning makeup brushes, but that's something that actually makes me feel good because I know I'm like taking care of my skin, I guess, a little bit. So anyway, Thank you guys for listening to me ramble on and on about skincare. I know this is going to be a long one. Um, the editing may not be perfect. I anyway, as I was saying, like, the editing may not be perfect. My light died, like... <laughs> I don't know. I feel like this video is a mess and I've just been talking really fast and for a really, really long time, but I love skincare. I'm by no means an expert, but I have done my research and I feel like I do a pretty good job of taking care of my skin. So I guess if there's an, another thing to take away from this video, I hope you do that for you. Um, you know, don't take my recommendations, you know, too, like, you know, seriously, like, find what works for you. I think that's really, like, the main point that I want to get across, and I'm really glad that at least I've done that for me, and I've seen good results, and I hope to continue to do that, because I think skincare at the end of the day is, like, just as important as makeup, and, you know, if not more important, because, you know, we have our skin for our whole life, so um, it's part of, like, almost a part of, like, our health and wellness to take care of, too. So um, I hope you guys have been doing well. Thanks for the support. Like this video. Share it with a friend who you think might like it. Subscribe to my channel. I have another channel that um, is, like, more like my actual job. So it's my mental performance coaching account. It's just my full name, Briley Casanova. Um, I'll link everything down below. Um, this video is not sponsored. I'm trying to cover all my bases here. Um, yeah, and I wish you guys happy, healthy skin and a great uh, rest of your day wherever you are. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.